I'd like to share with you all a story. The story of a guy who went out with a girl. Now this girl thought this guy was the one. But shortly after this date, this guy realized this girl was just another basic chick with a social media marketing nine to five job and she had an obsession for mimosas, brunches, and boomerangs. So did this guy end things with this girl properly? No. Why not? Because he wanted to continue getting laid. That guy was me. Now after about three weeks of enjoying the physicality, did I end things properly with this woman? No. What did I do? I decided to ghost her. So when do you ghost? Ladies, he says he wants to move in together after two weeks. Boo. It's been 12 years. The pressures of marriage and fatherhood now outweigh that initial spark that you felt when you first got married. You want to get up and leave your family. So poof. Now you may ask, doesn't this cowardly behavior of cutting off all sources of communication hurt the other person's feelings? Sure. But it doesn't hurt ours. And that's good. For me, I get what I want from a woman. Sex. And then ghost. <laughs> Ladies, maybe you just wanted a free dinner that week. Now, whatever it is, this system is tailored to you and it starts with step one. Postponing the interaction. He says, why don't you come over? I wanna make us some homemade shrimp scampi. No, thank you, I have a deadly shellfish allergy. He says, how about a steak? I'm a vegan. He says, any food at all? I'm fasting. <laughs> Step two, shape perspective, shape reality. Now, it is a foregone conclusion that this person will snoop your social media accounts. So what does that mean? It is imperative that you create a busy narrative. Now, if you notice here, here are some photos of me at a meeting, on a hike. In reality, I have done none of these things, but what have I done? I have avoided basic human decency. Basic human decency. I have avoided basic human decency. <laughs> this person doesn't even know that I am doing quite the opposite of basic human decency. I am at home watching episodes of The Office, guzzling down cheap bottles of wine in the same pair of underpants for the past four days. Okay, I am trash. <laughs> Step three, finish them off. The next time that they extend that invite, immediately a personal crisis comes up, get creative. My friend was in a sick jet ski accident. My great aunt Margaret just had a stroke. I need to fly overseas to be with family in Lithuania. My Yorkie, my pet of six years, got hit by a speeding mail truck. It doesn't matter. You can say anything because this person will not ask questions. And now you can sit back and bask in their sympathy. Why? Because you are a coward. <laughs> say it with me. I am the problem. Thank you for your time.